Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to take question number 22 of exercise 9.4 from NCRT Maths textbook class 12 from the chapter differential equation. Friends, the question is like this. In a culture, the bacteria count is 100,000. The number is increased by 10% in 2 hours. In how many hours will the count reach 200,000 if the rate of growth of bacteria is proportional to the number present okay so friends the question is like this that uh, in a culture where the bacteria are grown the initial bacteria count is 100,000 and after two hours it is increased by 10 percent so we have to calculate the time in which the bacteria count reaches 200,000 and the most important line is this the rate of growth of the bacteria is proportional to the number present okay so the growth is always pro proportional to the amount of the bacteria present at a given moment okay so let y be the number of bacteria at any instant t okay then since the rate of growth of bacteria is proportional to the number present so we can say dy upon dt is proportional to y okay on removing this proportional sign i am going to place a proportionality constant so i placed a proportionality constant k okay so this becomes a differential equation i have separated the variable so i get 1 upon y dy is equal to k dt Integrating both sides of the equation, I get integration of 1 by y dy is equal to k into integration of dt. Integration of 1 by y is equal to log y. Integration of t, integration of dt would be equal to t. So I get log y is equal to k into t plus c. This is my equation number 1. Okay. Now it is given that when t is equal to 0, or I have considered that initially, when t is equal to 0, y is equal to y0. Okay. So, what I am trying to do, I am trying to calculate the value of k and c. So, that after getting the value of k and c, I place uh, it in equation number 1 and calculate the value of the time required. Okay. So, first of all, I am going to take the initial amount of the bacteria as that is initial amount of the bacteria that is when the time was zero or the moment when I've started counting the time the number of bacteria is equal to y naught and I'm going to calculate the expression for t so that I get the amount of bacteria at any instant t okay so that is what I'm going to do now since time uh, since initial amount of the vector is equal to y naught so I can take t is equal to zero when the number of bacteria is equal to y naught so I get log y naught is equal to k into 0 plus c so this gives me c is equal to log of y naught okay next when t is equal to 2 that is after 2 hours the count increases by 10 percent 10 percent means the 100 percent bacteria is going to become 110 percent or 100 bacteria is going to become 110 so the amount of bacteria y naught is going to become 110 upon 100 that is 110 percent of the original amount of bacteria or 11 upon 10 into y naught now placing the value of t equal to 2 and y as equal to 11 upon 10 into y naught in equation number 1 i'm going to get log 11 upon 10 y naught is equal to k into 2 plus log y naught this log y naught goes here I am going to get 2k is equal to log of 11 upon 10 y naught minus log of y naught. These two logs can combine by the formula log m minus log n is equal to log m upon n. So this will give me log 11 upon 10. Okay. So I get k is equal to 1 upon 2 log 11 upon 10. Now. I have calculated the value of k, I have calculated the value of c. Now I am going to solve for the time t. So placing the value of k and placing the value of c in equation number 1, 
okay and i'm going to solve for this i'm going to frame an equation for t so i get log y upon y naught is equal to 1 by 2 times log 11 upon 10 into t or i get t is equal to log y upon y naught whole upon 1 by 2 times log 11 upon 10 so this gives me an expression for time okay so if i know the value of y and y naught i get the time required so that the number of bacteria increases from y naught to y now this 2 this 1 upon 2 is simplified as 2 log y upon y naught so this is my final expression for t okay now i have to calculate time when the initial amount of the bacteria 100,000 becomes 200,000 so i have to just place the values so y upon y naught is equal to 200,000 upon 100,000 that is equal to 2 so i get t is equal to 2 log 2 upon log 11 upon 10 hours so this is the time required so that the number of bacteria increases from 100,000 to 200,000. So this is my required answer. So this is how I'm going to solve this question. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube, HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.